Hello everyone, welcome back to Seams and Notches. If this is your very first time, thank you so much for joining the family. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button so you don't miss a thing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you once again for joining us. And please don't forget to comment down below on what next you want us to feature on this channel. Now, without any further ado, let's get started on what we have for you today. Welcome back, guys. So with me here, I've got my tools. I have my pattern master. I've got my cello tape or masking tape, whichever you have or whichever you prefer, that will do. I have got my notcher. I've got my tracing wheel. I've got my permanent marker, but this is just for demonstration purposes. It's not really composure. You have to have that. Um, I've got my pencil. I have my paper scissors. And of course, I have got my pattern paper and when it comes to pattern paper like i always say make sure you have your pattern paper wide enough for your pattern and for instance if you don't have um a plain sheet that is wide enough for your pattern what you need to do if you've got pattern paper in pieces you need to sellotape them together or tape them all together make it a big and wide enough sheet for your pattern and that will do so you really don't have to worry if you don't have like a plain sheet that is wide enough for your pattern paper you can always improvise okay as long as you have something to draft your pattern on that will do now for this pattern we are going to be drafting the circular skirt pattern or block we need the following measurement which is the waist measurement and the length of our skirt measurement so those are the two important measurements that you need it's, it's quite straightforward and simple so the first thing we need to do is to mark point one and for point one we need to divide the waist measurement into six places because it's a circular skirt we need a full circle so we need to divide that into six places so your waist measurement divided by six whatever answer you have you're going to use that measurement for point one to point two so i am using a uk size 10 um waist measurement which is approximately 28 inches so feel free to use whatever measurement you have is totally up to you but for today's tutorial i am going to use a uk size 10 waist measurement which is approximately 28 inches again for this video i am going to be using inches let's get into it so for our first point which is point one to two we need one sixth of our waist measurement which is 4.6 inches so this is why i have my l square ruler to make things way easier so what i need to do for our point one to two is one sixth of our waist measurement which is for my measurement is 28 inches divided by six and that will give us point one to two so for my measurement um 28 divided by six is going to give us 4.6 inches so i'm going to mark this as point one this is the starting point i'm just going this is the reason why we need um an l square ruler to make our pattern drafting much easier so i'm going to mark this as point one let's just have this as point one then i am going to measure 4.6 inches 4.6 inches there and I'm going to measure downwards 4.6 inches as well and this is point two again I am going to mark this as point two as well this point here so one to two one to two so next what i need is our skirt length measurement and for mine i am using 22 inches so feel free to use whatever inch or length you 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 prefer i am using 22 for this tutorial so i am going to place my ruler or my air square ruler whatever ruler you've got i am going to place it on point two and i'm going to measure 
from this um, point, I'm going to measure um, outwards or horizontally um, 22 inches. So I'm going to just draw a straight line measuring 22 inches. And that is my skirt length measurement. And I'm going to call this point three. And I'm going to come over to this point, which is point two as well. And I'm going to measure 22 inches vertically, starting from point two here. And I'm just going to measure 22 inches from this point. So straight down. 22 inches and I'm going to call this point point three as well so we have point three there and we have point three here so horizontally and vertically we have our point three so the next thing we need to do is to mark in our waistline 2.2 2 .2, 2.2 use it a curve line and how do we get a perfect curved line for this waistline we are going to measure 4.6 inches using our measuring tape and we're going to place our measuring tape on point one mark that as so that is we're just going to use a dotted line to mark that in and we are going to use our finger to hold our measuring tape at point one and only rotate the base of your measuring tape like so and it's going clockwise making sure you are measuring 4.6 inches again here So once that is marked in, you're going to hold, use your index finger to pin your measuring tape again and rotate that tape clockwise as well. Measure 4.6 inches. Once that is marked in, again, you have to take that and make sure you pinpoint your measuring tape exactly at point one. So now you have that and we are going to measure again 4.6. So as you can see, we have dotted lines and we are just going to join this using our um, curve ruler to join all this line, making it a smooth line. And that will give us our waistline for our circle our circular skirt block so i'm going to use my pattern master to draw in that curved line connecting all the points so gently connect all the points So now that we have our waistline, we are going to label this part of our skirt block as center back and center front. And we are going to label this part as our side seam. So we're going to call this a side seam. Seam. And this is going to be C, F, and C, B. That is for center front and center back. Now, the next thing we need to do, we are going to mark in uh, or join point three, which is the point three horizontally and the point three we have vertically. We're going to join that using the same method we use in joining these two points for our waistline. So 
we are going to use the length of our skirt block which is 22 inches so just to make it easier for me i am going to just draw three dashed lines along the waistline this is going to be my starting point to measure my hemline i just want to use this three solid line as a base or a guide for um the curve that i'm going to use for my hemline so starting placing my ruler here we already have the length of our skirt which is 22 inches so i'm going to place it here and rotate my measuring tape like so making sure i pinpoint my measuring tape on point two and mark in 22 inches which is the length of the skirt so you don't want it too far away so like that you can just take it gradually but to save time i'm just going to measure So now we have all our points marked in um, exactly the length of your skirt. We need to join this point now and that will form the hem of our skirt. So we're going to get a pencil or ruler to join all these points together. So I'm basically going to just do a rough sketch like so. Just joining all the points together. So what I need to do is to fold this pattern piece into two places. You can fold your pattern piece into two or into four, but um, I'm just gonna see what works for me. And making the reason why I need to do that is to make sure the hem line is cut or marked in a perfect circular shape. And that's the reason why I'm going to fold my pattern piece. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my pattern piece. So starting from point one, I am going to fold this. I'm going to flip my pattern paper. I'm going to flip it over and I am going to fold from point one. So this is point one. So you need to just get the tip of point one. So I'm going to fold that. Making sure it's well aligned. So once I flip my pattern piece over, I am going to just draw a straight line tracing off my side seam from my pattern piece. So what I'm basically doing is tracing off this side seam line, which is at the front. Now that we flipped our paper over, I am going to draw that same line, but I'm just going to extend it, extend it from where point three stops i'm just going to extend it and this is going to serve as a guide to align my paper when i fold it it's going to make sense in a bit so what i did was to flip my paper over then at the bottom part of my pattern piece i traced off uh, my side seam line which is this the side seam line i traced it off and extended it then what i need to do now is to fold my pattern piece there are two ways you can draw your hemline for your circular skin this is another method so if you prefer using the first method i use 
go ahead to use that but this is another method you can use to draw in your hemline for your circular skirt so now i have my point one and i'm going to fold this at the point at the tip of point one so the reason why i extended this line is for me to align point three to this line this is why i extended it this is just going to serve as a guide for me and i'm going to use my masking tape to just secure the pattern piece in place in order for it not to move and giving me a perfect alignment so what i need to do is to properly fold this in place remember making sure you're folding it from point one and using your your hands to smoothen your pattern piece so it's in a perfect triangle uh, shape like so There you have it you have a perfect triangular shape so this way is easier for you to align your pattern you can go ahead to fold that again so this time you're folding it into three places so again from point one you're going to fold that just this is what we've done so far so we can fold that again aligning it with your center front and center back line like so making sure it's hitting point three like so and you're going to gently fold that in place and there you have it So this is what you can do you can get your tracing um your tracing wheel and all you need to do again like i said measure from point two to three this is much easier 22 inches so get 22 inches you mark that there 22 inches again 22 inches so this way is way easier than the first method especially if you want to get it more accurately and that is 22 so we are going to follow this line using our tracing uh using our pattern master just follow the line like so So there you have your perfect um, curved line. What we need to do is to make sure we cut in our seam allowance. I'm going to use one centimeter for my seam allowance. So it's totally up to you if you want to use the first method or this method whichever makes sense to you you can um, use that so now i've added my seam allowance we're just going to get our scissors paper scissors to cut this along the seam allowance just gonna cut it straight like that as we can see we already have the circular shape and what we need to do is to add a seam allowance to the waistline and tidy up the hemline of this pattern piece.
so now we have um added our seam allowance to the hemline and to the waistline and of course we have added our seam allowance to the side seam line as well this is for you to join your pattern piece together and here we are um, not cutting this one or adding any seam allowance we are placing this is going to be this is the center front and it's going to be placed on fold so you fold your um fabric and place this on fold so we're just going to write that or mark that there place on fold place on fold so you don't get it confused you are going to use this as your grain line and just in order for you not to be confused i didn't really draw the place on fold um symbol on that but i'm just going to do that now for you to understand that you need to place this on fold so that is going to be placed on fold and this is your um grain line so make sure to fold this or cut this out uh i'm just going to draw i'm just going to write this center front slash center back and i'm going to cut this out so get your paper scissors to just gently cut along this line so for the waistband what we need to do we need to this is the center front of our um circular block and we for the waistband depending on what um width or length you want for your waistband for mine i am just going to use two inches so feel free to use whatever you want i am going to measure from the original waistline which is this one so i'm going to place my measuring tape here measuring two inches and i'm going to mark two inches in there because we've already folded this line and this is going to be used as a guide for me so i'm just going to place my ruler as well or my measuring tape on this line this folded line that this crease here and i'm just going to measure downwards two inches as well and onto the side seam i'm going to measure from this point that's the original waistline i am going to measure two inches downwards so once i have all my points i am going to join all the points together and that will serve as my waistband So like we did before, I am just going to fold this. Making sure it's well aligned. I'm going to use my pencil to just gradually take that in. Making sure this line as well is two inches. So yeah, that's two, two inches. And I'm going to use my pattern master to give us a nice curve. Then using my tracing wheel to follow this new waistband. Using my pencil again, I'm going to follow the trace line. I'm just going to mark a notch here 
and that's my waistband and don't forget we're going to trace this off and add a seam allowance so we've marked this as so we're going to place this on fold make sure you draw in your grain line and we're going to cut this as a pair and label this as our waistband so we are going to trace this using our fresh pattern sheet so we're just going to trace this part So make sure you add in your seam allowance once traced out. So we are done tracing this out. What I need to do now is to add my seam allowance just at the base of the waistline. Side seam. And we are going to place this on fold as well. So now we have our waistband pattern piece. We're just going to leave this aside. So moving over to our main um, pattern, which is the circular skirt pattern. We are going to, we've traced this out now. All we need to do is to add one centimeter for the seam allowance like so. And we're going to cut that out because we have already traced this waistband. We're going to place our pattern master on the waistline the new waistline and we're going to measure one centimeter for the seam allowance like so so as you can see we have the new one here and all we need to do, like I did before, we're just going to add that. And that will give us, this is the new, this is the waistband and this is your pattern. So make sure you add in your notch. So I am going to place this here and make sure it matches my notch here on the waistline. And that is that. So there you have it. You have your waistband for your circular skirt block and you have your circular skirt block. And if you want to see how we um, cut this out on fabric and sew them all up, make sure to stay tuned and we will give you, um, we'll be showing you how to do that on our next video or next tutorial. And if you want to see more of this kind of content or anything that has to do with fashion design as well, make sure to um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification button. And don't forget to comment down below on what you need to see next on our channel. So thank you so much and make sure you share this video with your friends that are interested in pattern cutting or pattern making or fashion design. Until next time, see you and bye for now.